With a scary situation along the side of the road in Charlotte where a good Samaritan was robbed at gunpoint. This all started when a driver ran out of gas along Hoskins Road near the I-77-85 interchange. A good Samaritan stopped to help, and what happened next cost him his clothes, his car, and everything in it. News Channel 36's Glenn Counts is live now where it all went down in this crime tracker report. He's live with our mobile newsroom tonight. Glenn? Well, Dave, the uh, crime occurred along this stretch of Hoskins Road. Two women ran out of gas. Good Samaritan did the right thing, stopped and helped them, and became the third victim. Now, one of the women agreed to talk to us on the condition that we not reveal her identity. I was just like, y'all, please don't kill us. Just take whatever you want, just don't kill us. This woman never thought she would have to beg for her life last night. She was driving down Hoskins Road with her best friend when they ran out of gas. The first car that came up, they agreed to help me. It was someone that I knew, a friend of mine. They agreed to help me, and they pushed me and my best friend out of the road and gave us a ride to the gas station. After they returned and put the gas in her car, two men armed with two very large handguns quickly surprised them. The way they just jumped out and was screaming and cursing and just holding the guns up like a movie or something. The suspects made all three victims stripped. After they robbed them, they took the Good Samaritan's car. They said, get on the ground, and one of them already had a gun to my friend's head, the guy, and making him undress. So I was just begging him, please do not kill us. I said, you can have whatever you want, just please don't kill us. Well, fortunately, none of the victims got hurt. The two men did manage to get away. And the woman that we talked to, she tells us she's going to do her best to never run out of gas again. Live from the mobile newsroom along the Beatty's Ford Road corridor, Glenn Counts, News Channel 36. All right, Glenn.